Now, does that mean that the ketogenic diet is going to be right for every dementia dementia patient? Certainly not, because you know it's a it's an it is an incredibly hard diet to adhere to, and particularly for somebody with dementia. I mean, putting somebody with dementia on any kind of diet outside of the diet that they're used to is virtually impossible, right? But in Alzheimer's disease specifically, patients with Alzheimer's disease will actually start to develop a sweet tooth. And it's thought that that's in part the brain, a response to the brain crying out for energy because its ability to create energy, again, from sugar is diminished by 50%. And so getting somebody you know, with dementia to adhere to that diet it's just really difficult to do. But if we can, you know, if, if, for example, the reader uh, of my book, you know, were to one day have some kind of neurological condition and want to experiment with that, then that's a great thing. You know, we also have various uh, ketogenic therapies, like whether it's MCT oil or powder or these exogenous ketone supplements. Um, I know people tend to roll their eyes and think that th these are like a fad now, but there's actually an FDA approved medical food on the market for the treatment of uh, dementia called Axona, which is basically based on these medium chain triglycerides. So this is, uh, this is like real science.